Hi, today we're going to work on a fun fall project. I'm taking some artwork that my daughter made years ago and I'm going to paint it onto a fabric box. It's a perfect way to commemorate the art that she made and it's a fun thing to do in the fall. Join us. Hi, this is Tweek. I'm going to continue on with a fall theme by painting a fabric box. And the art that I'm going to paint on the box was inspired by my daughter who long ago painted a scarecrow for me. So I took that picture and I'm using it for my design on my box. We take a fabric box, the kind that folds up. You can get them at your home improvement store. You order them online. But today I'm going to use brown. And the fabric itself is very conducive for painting. I like it a lot. The supplies you'll need for this project are a fabric box. You can choose the color. I've got an 11 by 11 inch size here. You'll need some paint. Acrylic paint is what I use. Some water and some brushes and some paper to make your image. And here we go. I began by taking an image that my daughter had painted when she was back in school. And I took a picture of that image and then printed it out. There's my image. Now to transfer it to the fabric, I traced it out on a piece of board. And I'm gonna use this piece to trace out the outline of the image. And I'm gonna use this piece here as the pattern to show me where to place my colors. And I'm gonna use, you could use a Sharpie if you wanted, but I didn't want a dark outline. So I'm using a white pencil. This will leave a very light mark. And I'm just gonna, just a rough outline of where I'm going to be here and you can check to see see the outlines coming out that's good and this is just going to give me my guidelines my pattern left a nice impression very good I'm going to keep this one nearby so I can use it for colors this is a fun project grab some paint Grab a brush. I'm going to start with his face. And I've got a yellow here, but I'm going to go for a scarecrow color, uh, more of a cream. So I'm going to start mixing up some paints. So I'm going to use the guide and I'm going to start painting. just enough blue <laughs> to cover the jacket. And as you paint into the fabric, I'm just kind of scruffing the paint into it. And you get this little pattern. This is so nice. It's rewarding. This is a fun way to paint. It dries pretty quickly. Fabric absorbs the paint in. So I'm ready to move to, I'm thinking I'm gonna let that dry completely and I'm gonna go for the pants. All right, so here we go. We're going to make some pants on the scarecrow. We're going to take some regular brown, add some black to that. Fun to mix paints, I think. I'm thinking that's a pretty good color. Let's see how it looks. Ooh, good. Because the fabric is soaking in so much of the paint, I really load up the brush and just kind of scritch it in there. I'm just trying to catch the edges of those lines. It could be seen as a highlight, but I'm just trying to catch the edge and get them, make them disappear. Here we go. All right, let me finish up this leg and we'll move on to a different color. Okay, my scarecrow now has buns. Now we're going to, let's see, test this. See how quickly that dries? That's so nice. And let's make some more of the blue that I had in his coat. A little bit of blue and a titch of black. This is a scarecrow, so if your colors don't match up exactly, that's what scarecrows are. Haphazard clothes thrown together, and in this case, cute outcome. 
Hmm, this is going on really nicely. Okay. So I'm trying to see the brim. We got maroon down there in his hair. All right, good. Hat, and I'm ready to add the accent color on his coat and his hat. I'll let the hat dry while I start on his coat. So I'm gonna need some red. Hmm. I need to have a little red, so I have to use a big red. I'm actually going to meld it, I think, with the blue here. Let's see what happens. Come up with a maroon color. And this will be Complimentary coat color. Let me see, is this the brush I want to use? Let's go for it. I'm putting, yep, that's good. Putting a little accent on the bottom of his coat. What's next? Well, he's got some highlights on his sleeves. So let's do that. Here we go here. Okay. Before that color dries up, do you want to touch anywhere else? Are you happy with what you see? I think I'm going to leave it be. So I'm just going to pull in just a blue line along the bottom of his pants. My daughter made the cutest little scarecrow and I'm trying to keep it true to what she did. My colors are a little bit different but still good. There's our trim on the pants next. Ooh, are we gonna try to tackle? You know what, I'm not ready to tackle the hay yet, so I'm gonna go for his scarf. Where can I work where it's dry? I think I can work on the scarf right in here. Um, a little bit of a wing in it here. What color do we want for the scarf? She's got like a reddish orange. I would like a bright color scarf. Tiny bit of red, dumping it. Risky, 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 right? And a little bit of yellow. For some reason, I want to add some pink, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna look like, but I just want a bright scarf. What would be a scarf now? She had it coming from one side, like two little V's. Ooh, that's nice and bright. All right, to make the straw, it's going to be a combination of colors. I got some bright yellow, some dark brown, and then I thought there was a light brown here. Here it is. I've got a cream color too, but right now I'm just going to play around with these different colors and see what happens. And I'm just going to start at the top and pull down. The overall effect is going to be straw. Straw can stick out every which way, that makes this kind of fun. You really can't do it wrong. And if you don't like what you see, just go over it with another color paint. Put some of that sticking out. Okay, now I'm going to take some of this beigey color and start adding some of that in. Those streaks of color that all add up to a look of straw. Be very careful with the brown, it's dark. Whatever you do with the top of his hair, you want to duplicate in his arms and his legs. Okay, I'm starting to have more fun with it. That's good. Straw. I could keep going and keep going, but I'm going to stop and clean up the edge of his sleeve with that maroon color that I had here. Just a little bit. And leave his hat alone on top. I don't know. I like the way that looks. And the bottom looks fine. I could clean that up just a little bit. Give a little bit sharper edge right at the bottom of his pants. Okay. Then we're going to start. His face is fun too. Simple. Here's what we have so far. Let's do his face. Face is very, very simple. Face is taking the black and dropping two dots 
wherever you'd like to drop them. I'm going to put one over here and put one over here. It's going to spread out a little bit, but that's what I wanted. Let's flip over and use the edge of our brush to make it. Two eyeballs. Done. The patches. The eyes are quite big. The patches are in bright colors. So there's a little bit of a teal blue patch. And I'm just going to shape that into a square. You're just putting random little squares and they end up being cute little patches on his clothes. I love how you can see the fabric through the color. That's so neat. All right, your patch is good. Got some black left over here, so I'm gonna come incorporate them. I want like a deep brown. You're gonna make branches, the colors that aren't quite mixed in. I'm just gonna lay it on, load up the brush, and I'm just gonna bring this over, and how do you want your branch, branch to go? I wanted it darker because I'm going to bring in some highlights with some regular brown. Other side, same thing. It's a branch. It was pulled out of the ground and stuck in there for an arm. So I'm just going to touch the edge of the brush and I'm going to make little marks where the stitching would be to hold the patches on. Just, just laying it flat down and just touching. Some of them have three stitches and some have two. And while I've got this out, I'm going to put in his smile, which I'm sure, again, are just little stitches of yarn. And I'm just going to come across. Just trust yourself. One. Doing one at a time. <laughs> Two. Three. This is where his personality comes out. This is the friendly guy. I think that's good. To highlight his pants, I'm going to use a copper color. the lid to add a little bit of pizzazz to this one. Scarecrow, and I think this is at the bottom of his coat. Making sure I'm not setting my hand any place it's wet. You can go bold and bright because this is children's art, which I absolutely adore. One more element to add that my daughter did not put in hers. But I thought it'd be a complimentary little critter. I'm going to put a little crow over here, sitting with the scarecrow. That is actually much easier than you might think. Add a little more black. And I want to have some blue. Blue nearby. And I'm just going to load up my brush. And I want my crow to sit right about in here. I'm just going to free a lance if there's a head. Now I'm going to use just a little bit of blue. I would like to add a beak. It's just touch. And let it sit for a minute. What's left? White. Why white, do you say? Because I'm going to make an eyeball. I'm just going to touch. And touch. Done. First time I pulled out the white. Okay. And when that dries, I'm going to add a little eyeball and we're going to be done. <laughs> He's looking at the scarecrow. That's cute. A tiny little crow. And one more thing. I'm just going to use the tip again kid that made this for me and put her initials. So isn't that a fitting way to take your child's art and turn it into a keepsake? And use for your decor this time of year, who doesn't need a cute little scarecrow? I love it. And there you have it. I took my daughter's art 
and I turned it into a commemorative piece that I will use during the fall. I just love it. If you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment. Take your children's art and turn it into something that you get to keep. See you again. Thank you.